People from other places don't understand how special our small town is. A place where everyone knows everyone and the community supports you through thick and thin. I'm Ellie Caffey and this is Our Town, Our People. Recently, I had the opportunity to be a co-host on the KY Sports Guys during their weekly radio show on the Hoss. After the show, I had time to catch up with them and ask a few questions about the success of their blog and radio show. Hi, I'm Ellie Cappy and I'm here with the KY Sports Guys. And we're going to be talking about our town, our people. And so can you guys start by telling us a little bit about yourselves? Yeah, I'm uh, Josh Hurd. I'm the assistant principal at Midcalf County Middle School. And uh, this is year four. Uh, for me in the Midcalf County community, I'm also the girls' basketball coach, and uh, excited to partner with the Stock Tony here uh, on the KY Sports Guys venture. I'm Brian Stockton. I've been teaching here. This is my 20th year. Been in the county for 20 years. I live in Summer Shade, and again, excited to be a KY Sports Guy with the Coach Hurt. I've been doing this for almost three years now. It feels like three days, man. Exactly. <laughs> it's really flown by. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, can you tell us how you landed in Metcalf County and what brought you here? Go ahead. I got, uh, I got a job. I knew a guy who taught here from Albany. I'm originally from Albany, and I knew a guy who taught here. So he, he, there was an English job coming open, and I interviewed and got the job. And then once I got here, I never wanted to leave. It's a heartwarming story. I was in the witness <laughs> protection program. <laughs> <laughs> they said relocate, and I said, okay, no. Okay, cut uh, it. Stop. <laughs> say, don't put my picture on. Blur it out. Exactly. No, uh, a true story, of course. I grew up in Monroe County. Uh, I've been in several different places, uh, uh, but for Dina and I, I think it was just time to kind of get back uh, close to one of our parents, and uh, Medcalf County is a great community, and it had an opportunity uh, for me to keep coaching and also get into administration, and uh, it's been a great move. We've been really happy. Uh, we're just like uh, Bryant. We live. Uh, in the county, in the summer shade area, and we're really happy to be a part of it. Well, the KY Sports guys have had a huge impact on our community, and can you just kind of tell us, like, a little bit about the KY Sports guys and how it got started? Oh, you want to tell? You want me to start and you finish? That'd be great. Okay, a couple years ago, about three years ago, as I mentioned, I wrote a post, just something I wanted to write. I hadn't written in a long time. I wrote something about Super Bowl and the pregame hype and how I barely could take it anymore, and. I had a couple people in the school read it because I wanted their opinion to see if it was trash or if it was something worthy, worth you know, reading. I took it to Josh, and it sparked on this idea that he might like to. Yeah, and, and I'll go even further back. Uh, when I was at Meade County, I had uh, Meade County's a little bigger school, and I had a group of about twelve or thirteen guys that I would eat lunch with on a regular basis. We always just toss sports items around. We talk about it. I'm an English major. Uh, Brian's an English major, so we both like to write and do those kind of things. I had some buddies in the community uh, that we would always talk about, you know, we should have a show. So all these ideas uh, kind of come together. He writes this wonderful, Thank sarcastic, <laughs> satiristic piece about the Super Bowl. I'm like, that's brilliant. I'm cracking up the whole time <laughs> I'm reading it. You look into it, and this is what's interesting about this day and age. You talk about technology. It's not that hard to start your own website. It's relatively cheap. It doesn't take very much. And so I was glad that he jumped in. And then once that got going and people were receptive to it, we said, hey, you know, we should do a podcast. And then the podcast grew and it's following. And then all of a sudden uh, we're on 991 The Hoss and we're doing a radio show. So these things just kind of organically uh, came to be. So TV's next, right? That's what we're hoping. And we're on TV right exactly. now. So we are. <laughs> yeah. Next hurdle. Exactly. Cleared. Yeah. Well, you've recently started. Um, commentating the football games and can you tell us a little bit about that and how the communities responded? Yeah, we've had such fun and obviously uh, you go with Mike and Glenn and all the way back the number of people who've done it in the past and we're very uh, grateful and, and uh, uh, reverential I think to all the people who've tried it before because it's harder than you think. Uh, it really is. It's a it's not uh, as easy as, as one would uh, imagine that it would be but we had so much fun with it. We had great fun and we were gifted this year. A wonderful season to begin. So many good games to call, and you listen to the, the Edmondson County game, the Clinton County game, and then the, the Green County game where we got to the most exciting thing that had happened to us forever, a field goal win the game. <laughs> so we, we had a great season call, great, uh, great bunch of people 
talking to us, telling us how much they enjoy the show. So we really appreciate everyone. Yeah, and, I, and it's been good for us on a selfish, from a selfish standpoint, because it kind of connects with the show, and so it gets mm-hmm. uh, uh, people thinking more about the show as well, and mm-hmm. the website, and the YouTube channel, which we have, and we can plug some Hornets Nest Picker stuff if we get a chance. <laughs> and so it's been a good springboard for us. But the most important thing, and I think anybody who's ever done it before or who will do it later, is that we get to get the kids onto the radio and give them an opportunity so that people that can't get there can hear it. And, and just working with the coaches and the kids have been so much fun. That being said, we just recorded show 42 tonight, Coach Brockman and a bunch, I said a swarm of, of his Hornets basketball players were here tonight on the radio. So if you get a chance, you can go listen to that on, on the podcast app or on the Spreaker or on uh, www.thekysportsguys.com. Ellie was our guest host tonight. Co-host. And we're yeah. Great co-host, yeah. And we're, uh, we're just doing this interview after the show. Yep, and um, the community is very thankful for the radio show, and I think that's kind of connected us with you guys and opened up a new venue. Cool. And um, thank you. How do you feel? Like, do you feel the community support? No doubt about it, and it's been one of the most fun things about this. And thank you uh, to yes, all of thank Metcalf you so much, County. Guys. Uh, you know, we started this out, and I remember we started a Twitter <laughs> account. And when we got to like 25 followers, we're high-fiving each other because we thought it was awesome. Uh, we're up to nearly 1,000 at this point. Uh, just the way that, that the people have embraced this concept and have had fun with us. Because really, what we're trying to do, and I think you would say this even in a basketball sense from a coaching standpoint, one of the things I wanted to do when I came here was I wanted to uh, bring a little joy uh, to things and just you know not take things so seriously and, and have a, as good a time as you can, can have. And I think our community has plugged into that and not only just with our show but with the Hornets Nest Pickers. I mean how many how many people have a band made up of, of alumni and the superintendent and, and all those things and students and then you get where this is branched at and I'm not saying we're connected to this but this is a great idea. Uh, the HNN and all the stuff that the work that we're doing here. Metcalf County is a place uh, that is bursting. Uh, with fun activities for a lot of people. We're, we're glad we're one of them. Yeah, I couldn't say it any better. Just once again, thanks to everyone out there who does listen, who does read, who does comment, who, who lets us know how much they enjoy the show. We appreciate each and every one of those things. Makes our day every time we hear somebody say something nice about the show or about uh, what we're doing. You got it. Well, I'm extremely thankful for you guys, and I know the community feels the same way, and we'll back you any way that we can. And um, I urge you to go check out the Hornet News Network. So thank you for being on our show tonight. Wonderful. Thank Thank you you. very much. We appreciate it.